Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. Beauty is her name. You already know who it is on the camera, Beauty. I'm coming at you guys today with a prom makeup tutorial. What better color to do than pink? Pink is my favorite color, so I had to go with that. You guys, we're going to go ahead and get right into this look, you guys. Um, this is going to be a voiceover, so I hope this voiceover helps um, you guys create this wonderful, beautiful look. So the first thing I did was just moisturize my lips, you guys, with some lip gloss, you guys. And the next thing I did was go ahead and moisturize my face with my Dermasil Lotion. Um, and then I went ahead and put my rose water on my face, which is supposed to help with the redness in my skin. And then on to my NYX primer um, which is supposed to help you know if you have oily skin you should definitely use it it does work well too what I'm doing here is just I'm um, going in um, with my eyebrows you guys I'm just filling in my natural eyebrow I want them to look as natural as possible so I'm going to add um, the dark powder from my the dark brown powder from my Anastasia contour palette um, just to fill them in and make them a little bit more natural and now I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer underneath my brow and over top of my brow, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and conceal these brows. And they actually turned out pretty nice today. I was definitely happy about that while recording. <laughs> I'm blending in here with my Mini Beauty Blender, you guys. Um, and then I'm putting down some LA Girl Pro Concealer on my eyelid. I'm going to use that as a base. Now I'm taking my rose water. I put a little bit of that on my sponge to make it damp. It actually makes blending easier and I just went over my eyes you guys. And now into my nudes palette I took that lightest color and I'm just putting that down just to set the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Now into my um, conceal and contour palette um, which is cream based. I'm just going to um, cover my face so <laughs> that came out weird I'm just going to cover my blemishes on my face you guys um, cover 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 I'm using my beauty beauty blender to blend everything in which is still damp you guys of course okay and now I'm gonna take my Anastasia setting powder and just put that in the parts in this spot excuse me that I um, just um, concealed now I'm going in with a light pink out of my Shani Eye Palette, which you guys are going to see in a minute. Um, actually, it's not that pink. This pink here, I'm going to put into my crease. That first pink was like a light frosty pink. I'm going to put this in my crease, you guys, and I'm just blending in with my blending brush. Kabuki style brush. And I'm switching back and forth between brushes. Those are like my favorite now. They work best for the eyes. Okay. Now I'm just blending in. And there goes that light transitioning, transitioning color that I put down um, to begin with. I'm just going back over and putting that right above um, the color that I applied in my crease. And now back to my cr crease, I'm just applying another darker pink. Um, I applied three colors to my eyes, you guys. This is another um, darker pink, and this is just going to define the eyes a little bit more. And I'm actually um, kind of winging that out a little bit. Um, erasing all that fallout with my fan brush, you guys. Now I'm back in my contour and conceal palette. I want to go ahead and start cutting my crease, you guys. I used the lightest color in the palette, which was a white. Okay, and I'm just cutting my crease. Um, this turned out so good this time you guys so I know next time it's going to be even better cutting my crease on both sides thank you guys so much for coming to watch this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please subscribe today you guys I really appreciate the su support I'm going to have a lot of new videos coming soon um, and it would be nice to hear from you guys leave in the comment section what you would like to see from me and also you can message me you guys so now what I've done here was I went back into my Shani eye palette you guys and got a white eyeshadow and just put that right over top of my lid you guys just to set that concealer that we just put down and then back into my Shani palette again 
I'm getting that darkest pink that I had and just putting that back into my crease just to kind of blend everything out. Okay, and now I'm taking my eyelash adhesive and I'm using this to apply the glitter. I'm going to put that all over my lid. I'm going to put it all over the white part, you guys. Okay, and now I'm taking the glitter, you guys, and I'm applying that first with the brush that I used to apply the glue. Okay, and I'm getting that all over. I'm just packing it on, packing it on, on both eyes, you guys. And then after I did this, I went back into went back in with a brush that didn't have any glue or anything on it and picked up some glitter and just packed that which actually as you can see it, it added more glitter to the eye being that the brush was dry excuse me it just applied it a little bit better that technique really worked for me using two different brushes you guys and my fan brush I just brushed off the excess I used a little bit of my Anastasia powder to get the glitter off that kind of helped a whole lot you guys all right and now under my eye with my NYX liner you guys in the color milk and I'm just lining underneath my eye and then I went back over top of that with some more lash glue and I had some white glitter you guys I'm gonna put everything that I'm using down in the description box the names of everything so you guys know I had some white glitter and I wanted to add a little bit more shimmer to the eye I know I, I feel like I went overboard but I think this is pretty promy like you know I went ahead and put that um white glitter underneath my eye and now I'm just lining my eyes you guys with my NYX eyeliner everything worked out so great with this look today you guys like the even the eyeliner went on easy for me today today must have been my lucky day <laughs> I'm glad because it would have been a mess to have to fix that in the middle of the video you guys know what I'm talking about I'm sure so all I did was just put my mascara on by NYC and now I'm going back in with that darker color again and just um, you know defining that crease a little bit more and then I put that transitioning color right above that that light pink and then I went into my nudes palette and went up underneath my brow with that lightest color in the nudes palette you guys now onto my eyelashes which are the Christina lashes which these um, go on so easy you guys once you get that glue on there I love these lashes they're so natural but then they you know you can still see them and notice them I love them you guys I got some new foundation I ran out of foundation the other day so I got some new foundation this foundation is so good you guys it feels like I don't know I mean it's so light on your face you guys it's by Maybelline you all now lining my waterline you guys with the NYX white liner and now I'm going over my foundation with my um, Anastasia powder just to set everything in and of course I blended out my foundation you guys saw that now I'm going to start highlighting my face you guys and I'm doing that with my LA girl pro concealer under my eyes on my forehead down the bridge of, well actually I don't think I did down the bridge of my nose my eyes my forehead and my cupid's bow and then I went into my contour and conceal palette to brighten that up a little bit um, I used that lightest color which was like a white um, and mixed that with a light cream in the palette you guys and used that to conceal I mean to highlight my nose and then went over the parts that I already highlighted to brighten it up and I'm taking my Sasha Buttercup powder here, setting powder, and I'm going underneath my eye. You guys notice I did that right away. I don't really like to wait to do that to bake, you guys. All right, now in my Anesthesia Contour Palette, I'm taking that lighter brown, which I've been using the darker brown, but I'm really liking how the light brown is looking on me. So I used that to contour my cheeks and my forehead and now I went in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer to highlight right beneath my cheek contour you guys and then I'm setting that with my Anesthesia Powder once again. Brushing off all the excess powder you guys we are finished baking. Brushing, brushing, brushing. Okay and now underneath my chin 
um, with that um, Anastasia powder um, contour powder again down the bridge of my nose using my fluffy kabuki style brush you guys these brushes work so well you guys and now I'm just blending my nose in a little bit more because I don't like the harsh lines applying my lipstick you guys in pink and I applied a nude color lipstick right in the middle to kind of create an ombre effect went in with my um, elf highlighter you guys on my cheeks and excuse me I'm going in with my elf highlighter on my cheeks and I applied my NYX finishing spray before that you guys um, they say that helps you know with the highlighter you know come out bring the highlighter out a little bit more which I feel like it actually did so I'm just brushing everything off here blending everything in this looks turned out so nice you guys I really appreciate you guys coming to watch this video don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel um, thank you guys so much for the love and support and you guys have a good one